Tumblers, I'm Ariana. And I'm McKenna. And we're going to be your anchors for today's episode. <laughs> Welcome to the third CAFCAST of this year. Now we're going to slide it to Jacqueline and Taya for the Renaissance Rally. Thanks, Ariana and McKenna. Taya and I are going to be talking about the Renaissance Rally that happened on October 8th. The rally is a really great way to get the staff and students involved. Many games were played like the Lip Sync Battle, Wheel of Fortune, and Hula Hoop Rock Paper Scissors. Here with us now we have Lauren Klein and Lauren Phillips, better known as Lauren Squared. Thank you guys for joining us. No problem. So, how exactly did Renaissance come up with the games that were played at the rally? So, a lot of planning actually went into these games. Um, the first game, which was kind of like a minute to win it game since the theme was game show, was an idea brought back from conference, which was the jumping through the hula hoops and playing rock, paper, scissors. The uh, next game was the lip sync battle, and we just thought that that was a um, idea and to try and get uh, a lot of teachers and also students involved to get them both involved and a lot of people could uh, participate in that. And then the third game we picked Wheel of Fortune because that was the uh, theme on our t-shirts. And we just try to pick games that will get a lot of people involved, but we also think that these students will enjoy. Wow, that's interesting. How long does it take to play the whole rally? Um, we usually pick out a theme. Uh, this year we picked out our theme like as soon as we got done with conference. We were actually in our hotel. We were sitting in the lobby and we actually decided on what theme we wanted to do. So from there we started thinking of ideas that we wanted to do and then I think the next couple weeks we came back to school and we started thinking of ideas, games that we wanted to be played. So in all it took about three months to actually get everything you know, drawn out and what we wanted to do. You guys really put a lot of effort into the rally. So for new students or students who don't know much about the Renaissance, how can they join and be a part of their next rally? So students who want to join Renaissance um, can come to our meetings, which are Monday after school in the Cavalier Community Room, and new members are always welcome no matter what time it is in the year. And we're always looking for a lot of help too, because definitely with the rally, we're always looking for just like people that can do like the little stuff, not always the big stuff, but it's always like the little stuff that's most important. So everybody is welcome, and like Klein said, our meetings are on Monday, so. We're always looking for new people. Okay, once again, thank you for joining us. Thanks. Aiden and I are just going to give a quick update on how the fall season is going for all of your Cavaliers. The volleyball team is currently 16-2. and They have a 7-1 conference record, and their senior night is October 21st. Hopefully the girls can claim a conference title and make a run in the postseason. Regional week starts in late October. The football team recently had a huge rival win against Ottawa and just had senior night against Morris last Friday. For, for the first time since 2009, the Cavs are now playoff eligible. The boys have been absolutely tearing it up out there. The boys golf team finished the season with a 7-4 record. The golf team shot a 339 in their regional to play second and are now advancing to sectionals as a team for the first time in 15 years. The girls' tennis team have had a decent season, and they just recently had the varsity conference tournament. They will have their sectional tournament on Saturday, October 19th. Also, Mr. Spencer did a superb job coaching up the fresh off tennis team this year. The girls' swim team is currently 3-3, three and three, and their senior night is coming up on October 30th. Their sectional tournament won't be until mid-November. And the boys and girls cross country. Their meet on October 5th, the boys took first place which was led by Logan Johnson. And on the other hand, the girls team was led by Ashley Hagee and the team placed second overall. And now on to Ariana with Hallway Etiquette. Thank you, I'm Ariana Donovan and I'm in the English wing to talk about a very important topic. Hallway etiquette, you get your right half, I get my right half, then everyone is happy. The incorrect way to walk in the hallway is to either stop in the middle or walking on the wrong side of the hallway. Everyone is unhappy then. The correct way in the hallways is everyone stays to the right and we do not have people to stop right in front of us or walk in front of us. Also no, do not stop in the middle of the hallway to change direction. Just slowly merge over onto the other side. If you wanna to talk to your friends in the morning, passing periods or after school, please stay off to the side of the hallway so we have room to walk. 
If you are in a friend group of eight, spread across the hallway, and you hear someone say, excuse me, please let them through or shift over. Please move out of the way so they can get through. Now, let's get back to the studio. Hello, I'm here with Special Olympics Special Athlete Alex and his partner Elijah. We have invited them onto the show to help inform us about LEAD and the different things they would do. So, how would you guys describe LEAD? We, it's a group in uh, LP. We have people and disabilities. We, we have people with and without disabilities that um, participate in our sports and our activities. Um, unify basketball, unify bocce, unify announcements, unify swim, power punch, sw sw summits, and presentations. So he kind of answered the next question. That's the different activities they would do. Uh, what do you guys do for LEAD? We help people with disabilities to try we can make a world, the world a better piece today. So, um... What the partners and the, the athletes, the partners like to participate in sports and um, help out the athletes in games and stuff. And we also have, um, like he said, we have many meetings and conferences about um, planning activities. We, um, we're planning um, our unified week in March. We have Polar Plunge. Um, we have um, on an upcoming Saturday, we have where a bunch of schools are getting together and we're going to just have a good day together with a bunch of us. So we really like to get together with many other schools and have a lot of fun. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you, Alex and Elena, for asking some questions. You are welcome, man. My coffee. <laughs> Well, Ariana, we have to start wrapping this show up. Then let's get moving. The answer to last week's trivia question was 1927 and 1928 year. This week's trivia question is what year did the West Clocks catch on fire? Well, I guess that's time. Wait a minute, we forgot the this week's quote. Oh yeah, well then go ahead. The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today by Franklin D. Roosevelt. Thank you for watching this week's CAVCAST. Tune in next week.